Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how we can add all fields of a data model table into a standard ClickSense table object. First of all, I will show you this in click view. So during the development stage or during the testing of any click application, you might come across that you need to analyze your click tables. And to do that, you have to manually add these click fields in a state table. In a click view, that was very easy. Simply go to the new sheet object, select table box and select a respective table you want from your data model. Here I have only loaded order table and then I will say add all and load order. Now you can see that every fields of this order table along with data is in a click view table object. But the same process and the same object is not available in ClickSense. To save our time, I have already loaded three QVDs, order QVD, customer QVD and product QVD inside a click application. Say I want to create a table with all fields from a fact table, which is an order table. So there are few ways to do it. First of all, I can select a table and then I will select my fact table here and then manually I will start adding one by one all fields. Say I have added up to product ID. The same way I can add all fields. Now say that employee ID field I have commented here. If I will reload this application and if I will go to the front end, I will get an error incomplete visualization because this employee ID field is no more part of this data model. So I have to remove this, then only the object will work. So now say I have removed this comment and employee ID field is again a part of order table. I will load this data and at the front end, if I want this employee ID field again in my table, then I have to manually add it again. There is another way to handle this process. First of all, select a filter pen and select your table and add one by one all your fields. And then go to the chart again and select table, drag and drop and convert to table. So your filter pen will now convert to table. And again, you can see that this is the another easy way to get respective fields inside a table object. But consider a case where you have 40, 50 fields. So every time you have to add those fields manually inside a filter pen or a table, so this process is not easy. Two years back, I came across an extension. I will show you how to use this extension step by step. If you do the search with quick table viewer click sense, then you will get this quick table viewer extension. Thanks to Christoph and Raf who have created this extension. This is a really simple extension to use while doing data analysis. So what you need to do is click on this link and then download this zip file. Once you download the zip file, you can directly add this zip file in your ClickSense server or if you are using ClickSense desktop, then first extract this extension and copy this extension to your respective ClickSense extension folder. So I have extracted and now I am going to copy here. Now we will go back to our ClickSense application. So here I will refresh my application and I will go to edit sheet. I will remove this table and then go to the custom object and insert the extension. We have now click table viewer. 
So I will drag and drop click table viewer. I want all fields of a fact table. So I will select fact here. I will explain one by one all these things. First I will select fact table and then I will say get my table. And in one click we are getting every single field of our fact table into a click street table. Let me add another click table viewer. I will select my customer table now and I will say get my table and you can see now we have all fields of our customer table. So this is a very simple extension to use. Now we will see step by step what is the meaning of all other options. So first of all I will delete that and I will drag and drop this extension again. I will select my fact table. What is the meaning of limit fields? So right now we can see that we have around 10 to 12 fields here in our fact table. Say I want only first 5 fields. So I will select fact table and I will say first 5 fields and then I will get my table. So we are now getting only 5 fields. So you can reduce your number of fields by selecting this option. Let's create another one. I will select fact again. What is the meaning of include columns? If I will say here star id. So all my fields which are ending with id only those fields will appear in this final table. So you can see we have order id, customer id, employee id, product id and supplier id. Let's see another one. I will say star sales star. So any field which is having sales in between your field name will only be part of the final table. So I will select fact here and then star sales star and I will say get my table and now you can see we have line sales price and sales only. So these are the only two fields having sales either starting or ending or in between of the field name. Let's move and create another one. And now this is the third one. It says ignore column wildcard pattern. What is the meaning of this? Say we have order ID as percentage order ID, customer ID as percentage customer ID. And now once I load this and if I will create another table at the front end using this extension, I will select fact table and percentage star means it will ignore all the columns starting from percentage. So you can see we are not getting order ID and customer ID because that's now percentage customer ID and, and percentage order ID. I will comment below two tables because we are not using them right now and say employee ID is now has employee ID and product ID is underscore product ID. So I want to remove all the fields starting from percentage has and underscore. To do that what I can do is drag and drop this extension select fact and here use the pipe symbol and any field starting with underscore star any field starting with has and star and now when you create the table you will not see any fields which is starting from percentage underscore or has now what about this remove table prefix from label. So many times during the analysis stage we are using qualify statement. So what will happen here is okay I will do unqualify here at the end of the script all fields of order table will start from fact dot. Same way all fields of customer will start from customer dot. 
and same way for the product it will be product dot product id product dot product and product dot category i don't want this now we have already covered this okay so when i reload this application and if we see at the front end you see that fact table all fields are starting with fact dot so if i will use this extension and if i says remove table prefix from label so if i will untick this and i will say get my table then all my fields will start from fact dot something means the table prefix is still there but if but if i will say tick this remove table prefix from label then even though all my table fields are having table prefix the final table will remove it automatically and now the last thing say my employee id is commented and when i load this data and when i get at the front end you can see my extension is still working employee id is automatically removed let's see again so i will add this employee id again i will load the data and at the front end you can see this employee id is there now when i comment this one reload this application and at the front end employee id is automatically removed how let's uncomment this one and i will show you again create a table using this extension select the fact table and you have to tick hide column if field no longer in data model so it is using so hide condition let's first remove this and now i will say get my table and now when i comment this employee id field and i will reload this application this front end table will give you an error because this column is not a part of your data model so how this extension will work i will uncomment this load this application and then i will create my table with hide column if feel no longer in a data model i will keep as a tick and if you go and see the field then you can see something like this so column if it is a condition if this field exists in the data model then only it will show otherwise it will not show so now if the field is not a part of data model it will automatically hide from your table but your table is still working and now if i will add it again it will appear again you can see hope you like this extension again thanks to christoph and raf for creating this useful extension please do subscribe my channel thanks and have a great day